Good morning, YouTubers. Well, it's a horrible day today. It's grey and cloudy and windy. Which has sort of put the kibosh on my video for today because I was going to talk about, because uh, I was talking about the subject at the time, I was going to talk about sundials. And I was going to demonstrate the sundial on the roof. You see, sundials have been around since the first person had thought of sundials, okay? <laughs> because we know the sun rises in the morning and it goes down at dusk. And we know that halfway through, there's midday. Now, we know the days are shorter in the winter and they're longer in the summer. So, how they worked out the time <clears throat> back in the day was they put a stick in the ground. And I'm, I'm going to use the selfie stick there, look. I'm going to take it up and I'll put it on the roof tomorrow or when the next time the sun comes out because that's the flaw in the plan you see sundials do rely heavily on sunshine so then you also need a magnetic compass you need to get an accurate um, magnetic compass and you need to draw a line from your vertical pole and in this case north is sort of almost to the window but a little bit to the right okay so we live in the Northern Hemisphere, and uh, at midday, the sun's shadow, when it reaches the arrow you've drawn, which is north, that is midday. And it's that simple. Everything before is morning, then there's midday, and then everything after it's afternoon. And that helped people to sort of work out what time it was throughout the day. Now, nothing has changed since um, since the dawn of time until two things happened and there was only re relatively recently 100 years ago maybe a little bit longer than that um, they needed a, an accurate clock to work out longitude on ships okay so that was that's what Greenwich Mean Time came from because every uh, every 15 degrees east or west of Greenwich represents an hour difference um, but that didn't really affect people in the ploughing fields, did it, in, in, in wherever. And the other thing that came along that really upset the time was the railways. The railways needed all, all to be on the same time zone because as you move across the country, as you know, especially with the United States, it's such a big country that you've got different time zones. Well, the reality of that is you've got different time zones from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast, all the way so you, you've probably got hundreds of different time zones and they just clubbed them all together okay because once that shadow hits north that's midday so what i'm going to do i'm going to do an experiment in the next few days where i'm going to get one of my spare watches i'm going to go onto the roof when the sun's shining and i'm going to start, set my tripod up as my sundial and i will draw a chalk line on the ground which will point north and i will set my watch to local time it's what's called local time i'll set it to midday at 12 o'clock okay and we'll see how different it is from the time zone that we've adopted because of the railways and uh, the navy and their navigation and longitude i'll talk about that in another video because it's just too much to put in it's too confusing try and keep my videos dead simple and, and to the point and that way people don't get confused because it's all very well sitting there like a boffin talking about this that and the other and then people you just lost people and it's go click next video <laughs> so that's what I'm endeavouring to do in the next couple of days when the sun comes out in the meantime I'm going to be getting my um, turn the water off because my, my bathroom floors flooded again and I need to uh, get a grip of these pipes the problem I've been having with the pipes is the uh, I can't drain the pipe because there's water in the pipe and it cools the solder when I'm trying to solder it so I've really been struggling to drain the system because it's a horizontal pipe and it's in a really bad place I've dug into a wall so I'm going to have to fit some sort of drain to it so that I can drain the water accurately before uh, so in the meantime, I've got to start filling some pans with water and uh, for cups of tea and that. So that's me for today. Hope you enjoyed my sundial uh, lecture. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want more of my boring videos, don't forget to hit the bell. Thank you very much.